Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're still on lead code 198, house robber. In our previous video, we solved it this way, kind of like simulating, like we were creating a, an array when we weren't really, where we were just switching the value of numbers to get it. And the submission on that was actually pretty good. But today we're gonna solve it actually dynamically by creating an actual DP array. Okay, so here are the steps to doing that. So, so the first step is an error check. I just wanna check if not nums meaning the norms we were given was maybe nothing was zero it was an empty array or something right or zero we we'll return zero okay if, if there was nothing provided to us as norms we we'll return zero again feel free to pause the video just to read through what the problem is asking or also feel free to use the link in the description to go directly to the legal problem okay so now that we have this check if not norms return zero we also want to do a quick return okay if for some reason the length of the norms are given okay is less than three meaning there's only at most two two items on the list or maybe there's one item all we just want to do is just re in this case we just want to return okay the maximum the maximum of nouns okay in case there's just two items or giving or just one item just return the max okay so now that we have those two out of the way okay now we actually want to start let's create our dynamic array that's going to keep track of everyone so dp i'm going to call him dp is going to be equal to an array field up with zeros of length norms meaning in this array for each item in this array so for the zeroth item the, the, the first item zeroth item the value of how much money we can get from robin would be in there for the first item index one the value for how much money we can get for robin the eight house is going to be there if, if that kind of makes sense right so each however long norms is for each house, the max amount of money we can get for Robin, that house is gonna be saved in the eight item of this DP array. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Like, just hang on there, okay? So first we wanna initialize our, our base case, which is DP of zero, meaning there's zero houses to rob. And guess what? If there's zero houses to rob, house zero actually, not meaning zero houses to rob, our house zero, okay? How much would you get for robbing that house zero? It's just simple, it's just simply nums of zero okay for that house zero right okay next for the next house okay because again we're dealing with arrays right this is the zero house this is one house on and on and on okay next for the first house okay so which is dp of one okay that's the one house what do we want to get okay he's just simply the maximum of the house before him versus him if that makes sense right so dp of one is just whoever gives you the most money okay between the zero house and the first house okay that, that that's pretty straightforward too okay but but let's keep let's keep on pushing okay then at this point now use a follow up for i in range okay what where are we going from we're going from two since we already have the zero on the, on the first item to the length of dp okay from zero to the length of dp keep in mind that the range function is exclusive of this higher bound so you're just going to go to the length of dp minus one right since they are zero based okay so what do we want to do we want to say dp of i is just going to be equal to the maximum okay between norms of i okay between the current norm norm we're on okay norms of i plus okay we want to rub two houses before him okay we don't want to rub the house right before him right so we do i minus two okay or if we can't take this house and two houses before him we can just take one house before him so and with dp of i minus one okay and then in the end once this follow is finished we want to return dp the last element in dp negative one so i think this should be correct let's go ahead and run code just to see what, what, what's up okay accept it let's go ahead and submit it boom okay success 86 percent. so this is a lot faster than our previous example but again as always we like to take it one step further to visualize our code so we're gonna take it to again this is the exact same function i just called him rob2 the exact same function we have oh actually there's a mistake here this should be norms of one okay so let's go ahead run it and visualize it and see what's going on okay let's see Okay, so we define our function and we call our function, okay, and we pass norms into it. So the first step says, if not norms returns zero. So we're gonna skip that because we have norms, norms is defined, okay? Then the next line of code says, if norms is less than, than three, the length of norms, obviously there's one, two, three, four, there's four. So we're gonna skip this next guy too. 
okay now we're going to initialize our dp array which is just the exact same length as norms but filled up with zero and next we're going to populate the zeroth guy and the one guy again based on the zero guy it's just going to be norms of zero the one guy is just going to be whoever is bigger between norms of zero and norms of one so let's go ahead and do that so one two identical okay now from the two our follow starts okay from two okay we want to say who is the maximum between taking this guy okay plus this guy two houses away do i want to rob this house and this guy or do i just get more from robbing this guy and obviously three plus one which is four is greater than two so obviously four is gonna be here okay bam four okay so next we're, we're on this guy now so i should be three next okay i is three okay so now we want to ask the question do we want to rub this guy and two houses back so are we are, are we gonna rub so pretty much are we gonna rub one how much do we get from rubbing one and two versus just rubbing three Okay, so one and two is three, or I just rub three. Three they're equal, so we just put, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How much do we get from just rubbing one and two, or just rubbing four, because this is what I got up to this point, right? So obviously four is greater than one plus two, so we just put four in here, bam, so four. So then we're gonna return the last value, which is dp of negative one, which is four, so four. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope it was helpful and very descriptive, and I'll see you guys on the next one.